Welcome, welcome back to another episode of Uploaded and Unfiltered, the podcast in which I, your host Jermaine, interviews another content creator in regards to the creative journey thus far. Tonight, as always, I have a special guest, and before I get him on the line, I am going to read his bio so we get a bit of information from him, and then I'll introduce him so we can get this conversation started. My guest today is a passionate content creator with a focus on video games and entertainment. His goal is to deliver engaging, high-quality content that both entertains and informs. Whether he's diving into the latest releases, revisiting classic games, or exploring hidden gems, he strives to bring a fresh perspective and excitement to his audience. He invites you to explore his content and become a part of the vibrant community that shares this passion for gaming. But without further ado, I'd like to introduce my guest for today, the one, the only, that dude, Scoob. Scoob, how you doing, man? Hey, what's going on, man? How you doing? How you feeling? What's popping? Man, I'm doing great. I, I just want to pat myself on the back. I murdered that intro, and shout out to you for writing it. <laughs> no, you did really good, man. I can't even I can't even lie to you, man. That was amazing. Man, that, 47 <laughs> deep. I, I got to get good at it, man. You got to got to practice but uh <laughs> you know what let's go ahead and jump into it i'm dying to know because I, even though i've seen i've been watching your content for a while i don't know how it started so if you can uh do me the favor do the honor of letting me know how did you start your content creation journey well when i was a bright young pup you know no, i'm just playing uh, <laughs> <laughs> nah um you know i actually started i started streaming during uh like around covid or whatnot um i actually mm -hmm. uh i lost my job due to uh the covid layouts and stuff right. of nature because i used to work uh at pizza hut I was okay. working at corporate at Pizza Hut, yeah, corporate Pizza Hut. Yeah. Um. But yeah, they 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 let me go or whatnot due to uh due to COVID and all the other good stuff. So I was just kind of sitting in my apartment and I was like, oh man, like what what can I do now? Right. <laughs> um. So I literally started with uh with a PlayStation Four and a 2011 MacBook Pro. Okay. And uh, I started uh, yeah I just started playing Dragon Ball Fighter Z on my PlayStation and. People just started flooding in after that. It was it was a it was a wrap after that, man. Hell yeah! That's what I love when the journey starts with like the most minimum of hardware because that's all you need to get started. Real talk. I mean, you know, a lot of people. Uh, I mean, I see a lot of YouTube videos and stuff like that. Like people people harp on, you know, you don't need the 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 most expensive stuff. And I mean, and I mean, it's absolutely true. Like mm -hmm. to be honest with you, exactly. like it's um. You know, like I said, I started with some some stuff that I just had at the house. <laughs> uh, I, I mean, I still have my MacBook to this day, to be honest with you. It's just, it's just chilling, you know, just uh, just to remind myself where I came from. You know what right. I mean? Just in case I lose my edge, you know, I, I have a good reminder as far as where I started or how I started and, and where I'm at now. So Hell yeah. I like that. That's dope. I need to have a reminder. Like, I all my old hardware, I ended up giving gifting to other people because like you said you don't need the best hardware but once you start doing this for a while your brain starts seeing where you can make improvements and if it's mm -hmm. in the budget and it makes sense for you i say go ahead and do it but yeah you definitely don't need the most high quality mic i don't even have a, my mic was a hundred dollars i still use it yeah like i had um i had my blue snowball that thing was oh, like fifty dollars yeah, or whatnot. yeah i still have it to this day that thing is yeah it's chilling it's just chilling in that it's chilling in the house now i'm sitting here with a pod mic this thing was like about. i think it was like a hundred and fifty dollars or something mm -hmm. like that but man it's 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 crisp yeah i love you, it you can hear it it's good it's good um <laughs> speaking of which speaking of beginnings how, how did the name that dude school originate was it for streaming or did it exist before that so I was thinking about names and stuff when I was getting everything set up. Um, mm -hmm. So Scoob was actually my call sign when oh. I was in Iraq and Afghanistan. Yeah, gotcha. so okay. um, and it just kind of stuck. And I was like, you know, I'd rather I'd rather bring that dude or bring Scoob in mm -hmm. into the Twitch thing, except you know, and then like not bring anything else right out. Like I don't know, like my stripper name or something <laughs> like that, because I because I used to strip. So wait, hold on, are you for real? Wanna, yeah. Man, I hear you're the second person that told me this, and I the other dude was lying. That's wild. Yeah, no, I, I used it. to. Yeah, I used to strip. Okay, <laughs> wait. So that name is not Scoob. 
Oh no! Oh no! Okay, no, okay, no, no, we'll no, just no. keep that. No, 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 we'll, uh, no, no, no. That's dope. Though. No, I'm, man, hey, I'm an open book, man. Oh, my, no. my my stripper name back then was Night Train. It was it was Night. Train. Oh, that's dope. That's dope. Yeah. <laughs> man, bro, you just lit a uh, part of my brain. I have so many questions, but we. Ain't, I'm gonna ask that off stream, but. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what though? Look, if you if you want, you can ask them now if you want. To. I'm an open book, man. I do not care. I you know don't. what? This is a simple one. The did streaming is there any correlation between the performance you had to do while stripping into stream into like streaming content? If that makes sense, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, is there a mindset yeah. that's kind of the same that you're utilizing? Um, kind of. I mean, like, you know, when I when I was streaming in the beginning, I was really trying to figure out what can I do to differentiate myself mm-hmm. amongst like the others. You know what I'm yes. saying? Because everybody was doing the exact same thing. You exactly. know, exactly. And so, like, I used to I used to do the twerking for subs and mm-hmm. all that other stuff before Twitch was all like, no, you can't yeah, do that anymore. Stop that. Yeah. So, um, so I was doing that for a while, but like now it just got to the point where it's like, you know, I don't know, I might do a little jig every now and then, but like I don't, it's not, uh, it's not that 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 big of a deal for me now. You know gotcha. what I mean? Like I'm kind of I'm kind of in a in a status. Like I'm not trying to toot my own horn or nothing, but I'm in a status in which like I don't have to. I don't have to just twerk all the damn yes, time. I don't. That's, that's true. You know? Talk your shit. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah, I don't have to do it all the time anymore and stuff. But no, nah, man, every now and then, like, I'll be, you know, listening to my music. I'm like, hey, man, this this slap, you know, yeah. and do a little, you know, do a little belt body roll or whatnot, yeah. you know. <laughs> yeah, I'm jealous <laughs> like, of you motherfuckers who could dance. Like, I be trying to. I was like, the music come on. I'm like, I, if this camera wasn't on, I'd be moving my ass right now. But, uh. It looks it looks like I'm having a seizure, so I, I kind of I tend to stop. Um, oh man, <laughs> see every yeah, every everybody got everybody has their own vibe. You know this what I'm true. saying? Like yeah. I, me on a personal note, I was I was fortunate enough to because uh, I used to be in the uh, in the breakdancing team back in oh, high that's school. Dope. Okay, and uh, I was also in the stomp team in high school as well. So yeah. like I, I already I had the rhythm from. Oh, from, you had you just know. been performing your whole life. This you built for this. <laughs> like, I'm true to this, not new to this. Bro. You know what I'm saying? You know how to keep a crowd moving. I love that. That and it honestly, like not knowing any of your background, watching your streams, you can tell that you entertain people. You can tell that, like, you walk into a room and the party's kind of like, uh, and you're like, yo, I'm here. It moves up a notch. You're like, all right, it's time to have fun. Like that's just dope. It's what I do, man. I I've always been that guy. Like I always like to, you know, just make people make people laugh you know yeah. laugh and kiki and have a good time you know because oh, i mean yeah. we here for a good time not a long time you know exactly what I mean? man that's dope all right man we're gonna slide right into it to your current mindset this is why i ask my guests how they how are they feeling about not only their current content but what they imagine their content looking like in the future it doesn't have to be too far in the future even it could be next week but how is that current mindset working for you right now well, uh, I'm like, <laughs> I'm, it's a it's a roller coaster, man. It, it, it's a roller coaster for me because, like, right now, you know, I'm I'm in a good place, but at the same time, I know for a fact that you know there's always room for improvement. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. I feel like uh, I feel like I could do better, but it's the I guess you could say it's like a it, it's a matter of the of the financial aspect of it. Like I feel like I feel like I could do better than what I'm doing now. And you know, if I had to if I had the finances to do as such, I would be able to, you know what I mean? Like it's mm-hmm. I just like I feel like I feel like now a days um you know people are starting to go back to their jobs like right. they're not really you know doing the doing the supporting anymore like as, as much as they used to. And so like it's a you know, everybody's in a matter of okay. Like, I'm not about supporting anybody anymore. I'm all about me, which I'm I'm fine with. You know, you have your life, you have your bills, you have your things you got to do. Right. But like, you know, going from a, hey, I used to get support from this person to you know nobody really or nobody they're they're not there anymore or anything right. of the sort. Like, it just mm-hmm. kind of I don't know, just made me feel some kind of way. Really? Um, which, like I said, it's fine. Y'all got you have lives. You do what you do. But like at the end of the day, like I just I just feel like if I had a, just a just a little bit more support, I should be fine. Gotcha. Um, it just yeah, it's uh like it's a roller coaster. But yeah, at the end of sure. the day, you just kind of gotta you just kind of gotta deal with it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, like yeah. people are gonna come and go. Yeah, exactly. And I think that's one of those things that 
you realize once you see those ups and downs, like, all right, I, I've been thinking about this a lot. I'm trying to figure out a new way to monetize our streams because yeah, we have the subs, we have the cheers. I like a lot of people have been making Patreons, but I'm like, that sounds like a lot of work. I don't know what that goes into. Um, I set up a Kofi page and that's, this is when I, I stopped being affiliate so I can get rid of the ads, even though I think they added them shits back for just everybody. Um, mm-hmm. And set up a little Kofi side side thing. It was like, yo, here's the perks for it. Here's the tears. And that worked if you work it. And my problem was like, that's a lot. That was extra content that I was not making at the time. So I kind of, that kind of fell off. Like I still got a few subscribers over there and I hit them with a video every once in a while, but it's not to the level where I think it should be. Like, I think if you do something like that, you should have like a piece of content at least once a week that nobody else sees except for that group. But I'm definitely trying to look into different ways to monetize outside of what Twitch is offering us right now. Yeah. Um, as far as, as far as outside monetization, it's, um, it's it's difficult for me because it's like you gotta you have to know what you can provide besides just streaming True. like a lot of folks like my voice right mm-hmm. they like my voice they want you know little sound bites from me or you know like a dj drop or something Ooh. of the sort okay. so like with certain things like that that was that's what like uh was it kofi or whatever yeah. how it's however it's pronounced that's that's something that i would produce in into that or even in patreon or something of the sort because a lot of people just a lot of people just make those site or make those accounts just to make them True. like but they don't necessarily have anything to provide i have a friend of mine i have a friend of mine she uh she does the crochet okay right mm-hmm. and um you know she'll do like little pokeballs a little pikachus and like all the other stuff and she'll do it on her on her ko-fi you know somebody requested or something of the sort uh, like and she'll do it that way gotcha. and so like when it comes to certain things like that like you just gotta you just gotta understand what you can provide outside of just you know streaming and and, and certain things like that because nope i mean nobody really wants advice they expect for you to say that on stream nobody wants uh, nobody wants like, you know, I don't know, tips of the trade when it comes to uh, certain games or how to play this certain thing or, or mm-hmm. just something in general, because they could go on YouTube for that. You know, uh, you just got to you got to know what to what to provide other than just, you know, game related stuff like myself um, i'm actually a certified personal trainer okay. so if um you know if anybody wanted like workouts or if they wanted a, if they wanted like a food a meal prep or, or something of the sort like i yeah. can give them that information on my ko-fi Hell yeah. and uh just kind of go from there you know all right yeah you, oh man you got some some things you can line up in there for people to branch out outside because i feel like for me, when I sub to somebody on Twitch, I'm like, that's that's all it is. Yeah, I get to use the emotes. But if we're outside and I was like, oh, Scoob got he can prep make a meal plan catered to what I'm trying to do. And I'm contributing to you as far as the creator goes, and I'm getting something out of it. Like, I feel like that's the best give and take in this relationship we have with our, our community. Right. No, most definitely. I honestly feel the same way. Hell yeah. That's dope. You mentioned this. You briefly touched on this. So I'm going to go ahead and slide into our next session. Uh, Lessons learned. Uh, What lessons have you learned because you started streaming and you're like, oh, I don't think I would have learned this if had I not started this. Man, not everybody is your homie. Not everybody is your friend. Not everybody is there for you. It doesn't matter if you're streaming or if you're just doing some real life shit. Not everybody is there for you. Not everybody is there for your content. If you if you do, you know, provide the short term, long term streaming, live any of that shit. Not everybody likes your content, and that's absolutely fine. You're not for everybody. Exactly. You know, there's so many things that I've learned from that crap, man. It's just that. You know, s- streaming. I've said it before. I say it again. It's a roller coaster, man. Mm-hmm. And it's not just. It's not just about the finances. It's not just about like you know, even just like minor, 
uh, streaming issues. Like, oh mm-hmm. shit, my camera don't work. Oh, right. damn, what am I supposed to do? Like, it's the people, bro. Yes. It's the people. <laughs> it's the, you know what I'm saying? Like, man, so, some of y'all are mean as hell. Yes. I'm just, <laughs> It's like I didn't know, you know a I'm human saying? could be like that. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? I bro, it is crazy because it's just like you know people think it's the internet, and it's like we don't have feelings because it's the internet, bro. Like, mm-hmm. like come on, man. Like y'all got to be a little bit smarter than this. Like one hundred percent. It's 2024, bro. Like, it, I, like most of the people that that do the things that I do and do the streaming and and all that shit. Like the only thing that we want to do is just live, bro. Just live, have a good time. Like I don't, I don't have time for the kitty crap. I have exactly. a kid myself. I'm, right? I'm cool with it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Exactly. Like I'm cool with it. So stop with the childish games, man. People are people are mean, bro. Yeah, people are mean. Yeah, it's it's wild. And you're not the first person to say that on this podcast or outside. Like creators, I think have a good first person view of like humanity when they think it's just the internet and they're just putting these comments in there. I'm like, yo, other people on the other side are real people and are reading that. And some people are affected by that. And even I would go as far as to say some of the creators that I've worked with in the past, like when you see their true colors, you're like, damn, you are fooling everybody. I had no idea you were like this. And then you got to distance yourself. <laughs> that's a, that's another thing, man. Those those double lives that, yeah. that some people normally have, they have this whole persona on stream, and mm-hmm. you meet them in real life, and they're actually just trash. It's just exactly, like, bro, yeah. You know that that bothers the heck out of me, man. And I'm so glad that I'm so glad that I have that I've had the opportunity to meet like genuine people while I've been doing this. You know what I mean? Like I'm uh shoot, we got a. We got Dream Hat coming up this weekend. Oh and, yeah, that's uh, right. Yeah, I'm a content creator for that. So um I got a I got a whole bunch of people that I'm ready to meet, man. And it's just like that's just such a wonderful thing. Yes. And I I love the fact that I have this opportunity to do that, to to meet like some actual genuine people, bro. Mm-hmm. So um the people that have those double lives or the fake personas and right. freaking just like what well, Megan Thee Stallion say, them cosplay gangsters. Exactly. Man, look. <laughs> man, look. Y'all need to nip that in the bud. Nobody like nobody likes fake people. Not at all. You know what I mean? Or at least like real people, like real ones. They don't yeah. like fake people, bro. Exactly. You know what and I'm saying? Who? I will say this. Like, while there is a lot of those fake motherfuckers out there, when you find those genuine people... That shit feels great. And that Man. is worth going through some of that bullshit to find those people because it's a once in a lifetime type of situation. Man, when I tell you that is some real shit. Like that is some real shit. I've met I met this one uh, this one partner. Um her name is U Tally. Okay. And uh I fangirl man, when I tell you I fangirl <laughs> her, she's one of my favorite streamers, bro. Yeah. And, like just watching her, I don't even I don't watch I don't watch a lot of people play Call of Duty. Like she's one of those Call of Duty people. Really? That, that, uh, yeah, she well, she will whoop ass. I'm saying. So like I I like watching her. And I like watching her do her thing. She's so chill with it, you know mm-hmm. what I mean. And so, like, I go in and I and I and I watch her and I fangirl. And I'm just like, damn, like she just like she's all that in ten bags chips. And I found yeah. out that she was going to she was going to Dream Hack uh, last year. Yeah. And I was like, oh snap! Like I get to meet her and like and all that. But like the coolest thing about it was was that she was actually shy to meet me. What? And I was actually shy to meet her. And oh, I'm like, funny. bro, like. You're a whole you're a whole partner in these streets, you know what I'm saying? But she was like, Yeah, but I'm human first. And I was like, you know, you're right. You're right. You know, so what's that? And the fact that the fact that she's the same on stream and off stream, that mm-hmm. was just icing on the cake for me. Like I'd and she's gonna be here again this weekend and I can't wait to see her. That's dope. And um, yeah, man, it's the like I said, man, it's that it's that genuine that that the genuine uh personality mm-hmm. that's what that's what makes it man that's what makes exactly. it in life man i'm telling you so like that's another thing that i learned man it's just that you know people with the fake personas they can they can stay where they at i'm not trying to support exactly. that crap exactly but um one uh, like one last thing is that is that is that competition crap man mm-hmm. um the competition stuff like i'm not i'm here to stream I'm not here to 
to diminish the bread that you making. Right. I'm just trying. I'm just trying to make it my daggone self and right. keep it moving. You know what I'm saying? The the people that think that I'm there to to compete with you, I bro, I'm too old for that shit. Exactly. <laughs> like, like that's not even I'm part of my bad. vernacular right now. <laughs> yeah, that's not a part of my mo, dog. I'm just trying to I'm just trying to make y'all laugh and get some bitch subs and donos and keep it moving, bro. I got Ooh. a car payment to make. Like I'm not <laughs> trying to compete with you, dog. Exactly. I'm, I'm not. I'm not trying to compete with you, bro. Like, once they realize there's enough dough out here that we all can eat, I feel like, like, that's when I, once I realize how much money is in streaming, how much money is in content creation, and, like, the little sliver that we were fucking around with on Twitch, I'm like, I just need to branch out. Do me, fuck all the, everybody else, isolate all that stuff out, just do what I want to do, create the content I want, and the money will come eventually. Man, you ain't lying, bro. You know that, um... The uh, the amount of streamers have increased from twenty twenty actually from twenty 2020 twenty to twenty to, to now yes like it's increased like crazy mm -hmm. the, the the money revenue that 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 turns around in this shit is crazy and it's not just with Twitch bro it's right. with everything it's with mm -hmm. the it's with the sister companies freaking stream elements stream like all true Discord yeah. Discord oh my god um you know dixper freaking um you know the folks that do upgrades on mix it up all that shit bro mm -hmm. the money in this shit is crazy and if you know like if you know it's not it, i mean it's always that it's not what you know it's who you know type deal but when you get to the point in which you 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 know the proper channels and stuff like that to actually reach out to like if you want i mean shit even with sponsorships with sponsorships with um with uh you know people that 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 want you to represent their brand mm -hmm. uh, all that shit like if you find if you find the proper channels bro like the money flow is ridiculous ridiculous bro you just got to tap into that shit yeah yeah, it takes a lot of it takes a lot of time and effort though, man, because you know some of these folks be whispering them sweet nothings. Hey yo, here's this hey, you want to get with G Fuel? Here's this affiliate link here and you know, you you have people freaking spend $50 yes. you get $7 back. Exactly. Like, fuck out of You're here. Like, hold on. Nah. Hold on. That's what this is? Nah, we good. <laughs> yeah. 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 You know, uh, I I know my worth, bro. <laughs> exactly. Like, you know what? When you first start streaming, those stupid ass affiliate links be looking good, man. You ain't lying. But now I'm like, I don't got the time, bro. Like, what you need mm -hmm. to do to get those things popping is like, that's not who I am. That's my not the content I make. So, no, Pass. and it's crazy because everybody and their mama, everybody and their mama was like, yo, like, oh man, freaking such and such is the way to go. This is the way to go. This is you don't you don't even need to talk to anybody. Just fill out this link. And you got it. And, not, and I'm just like, man, look, that was my first mistake. Right. You know what I'm saying? I want people that I want a I want a company that will legit reach out to me and be like, yes. hey yo, we like your content. Come represent us. You know what I'm saying? I had Ro I had Rogue Energy do that with me. Hell yeah. You know what I mean? They call they hit me up. That's dope. I didn't have to apply for nothing. I didn't have to do nothing. They hit me up on email and was like, yo. That's what I'm talking about. We like your content. We like what you do. We want to see if you want to represent us as a rogue partner. And here I am, rogue partner. That's it what up. I'm talking about. Yeah, Hell man. Yeah. It's dope. Yep. Yeah. Man. All right. We're doing it. Words of advice. Clearly, you know what you're doing. You've been doing this for a while. I didn't realize you was a rogue partner, so that's dope. Shout out to you for that. Words of advice. Anybody, any piece of advice that you want to give, I'm going to open up this session for you. What, what, what would you like to tell the people? Man, the, the, the main thing that I would like to tell the people is if you ever want to start streaming, if you want to start streaming or if you feel like you've hit a plateau of people that, uh, that, you know, that come and see you like one or two viewers, whatever, what have you, man, look, you got to build that community first community first man i'm telling you go mm -hmm. to other people's streams go talk to people man freaking talk to people on twitter talk to just talk to people man like yes. let people get to know you before you decide to hit that go live button because i'm telling you it's smooth sailing if you do that beforehand because you already got that amount of people that's going to be there for you be like all right i'm gonna ride with you i like your content whatever mm -hmm. what have you 
You know, once that word of mouth, oh my God, word of mouth yes. goes a long way. Yes, it I'm does. not playing. <laughs> People sit up here and be like, hey, yo, this dude twerks for subs. Yo, go check him out. <laughs> yep. I'm telling you, word of mouth goes a long way, man. It goes a long way. You just gotta you just gotta be cool with who you are and what you're all about. You know, be that genuine person that I that I know you could be. Mm -hmm. You know, and once uh, they start digging you and feeling what you what you all about and stuff like that, that's when that support comes through. And that's when people start talking about you. And that's when those people start coming in to try to see what you all about. Like I said, not everybody is there for you. Not everybody is there for you. Not everybody is there for your content. And that's fine. You need to take that shit with a grain of salt and keep it moving. There's freaking, there's like, I think it's like three, three trillion freaking people out in the right. on world or something <laughs> of the sort, man. Somebody is there for you. Exactly. Somebody, some group of people is going to be there for you, bro. It's just a matter of staying consistent and doing what you do. You know? That's, listen, Scoob, the this, this knowledge that you're dropping right now is shit I wish I would have heard when I first started. Because when you first started, you got all kinds of stupid. You got everybody else's self-doubt in your head and you're thinking all kinds of wild shit. But like you said, there's three trillion people on this planet. Yo, people are out there. You just got to be patient and do you. Be you. Be authentic. They'll show up. No, oh, real talk, man. I was that dude. Oh, man. Every time I got a raid, I was following the dude that I followed the dude that raided me. You know, most of the people that came in with the raid or whatever, I started following them. And then it got to the point where, like, you know, I I started looking at the the, the people that uh, that followed me and started looking at the content. I'm like, dang, I really don't, mm -hmm. I really don't like this. Right? I don't. You know what I'm saying? It's not. You know what I'm saying? That's not my cup of tea. I don't want right. a lot of people play Call of Duty all damn day. Exactly. Like I'm, I got. And that's I got okay. To go. That's cool. You know, and that's fine. You know what I'm saying? It. You know, don't don't feel bad to unfollow somebody, man. Because at the end of the day, with Twitch, you have you have a two thousand follower limit. Do you? you I didn't know that. that. Yeah, you have a two thousand follower limit. Yeah, man. So you you go in there and you check it out or whatnot. You can actually get on Wisebot. You can get on Wisebot and freaking check out the amount of people that you follow. Oh, I'm about and to do that. Um, yeah, and do that, and you can actually see. And I I miss the petty pants sometimes. Yeah, right now, let me know. Let but, me know. <laughs> <laughs> but Wisebot, Wisebot, I actually show you who follows you back. Um, like who you follow and who follows you back and stuff like that. So I mean, I wouldn't say look at that shit all the time because that ain't gonna do nothing but leave you discouraged. But right. I mean, <laughs> if you want to do a cleanse, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. I just look at that for the one time and be like, hey yo, I don't think I wanna, I don't think I wanna follow Kai not anymore. That motherfucker don't follow me. Right? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know. I just, I'm just saying. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> no, I had no disrespect to Kyle. Like, I, I like he, he cool people. So I don't right. Mean, I got no bad blood on him. But no, nah, I'm just saying. I just you know for the one time, just do a little, just do a little cleanse. There, yeah, I'm know? just definitely gonna just take a look, see what it look like. Yeah, just you know, sit there and be like, oh wait, I I gotta follow this person. No wait, I can't. Yeah, like I, I reached mm -hmm. a limit. Like mm -hmm. who do I follow? You know what I'm saying? So yeah, yeah, dude, get your, get your cleanse on, man. I'm just saying. Man, that's dope, yo. Thank you for that piece of information, especially about Wisebot. I've heard of it, but I never brought my ass over to the website. And now you gave me reason to just to do a little investigation. That's it. <laughs> yeah, man. Like, it's, it's crazy because, like, you know, Twitch Twitch gives you the option to look at who you follow. Mm -hmm. But, like, it's really a pain in the ass to go one by one to each exactly. and every daggone streamer. You know what I'm saying? Wisebot right. gives you an easier an easier option to, to, to go through. And um, you know, really look at the people that 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 uh, that you follow and and stuff like that. And be like, wait, mm -hmm. I haven't seen them in forever, right? You know, like I haven't seen them streaming. What happened to them? Oh man, they've been gone for three years. Oh, I follow. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah, I need that. You know, I, so I was thinking about that. Def this is, this is perfect. Definitely check that out, bro. Hell yeah! All right, Scoob, let's go ahead and get into call to action. Hope you're familiar with. This is where you get to call out. <laughs> All of your your accomplishments and where you want the people to go to check out your content. So the floor is yours. Oh man! All right. Well, cool. So, um, you know, I y'all didn't heard who I am. My name is that dude Scoob. You can catch me anywhere, really. I mean, like when it comes to to Twitter, it's like, and it, and and I hate to I hate to say it because like. Mm -hmm. 
Like I tried, bro. When I tell you, I've tried to put that dude Scoob on everything. Yeah, like, it it's not on everything. So Damn. it's like it's weird. And I I know, bro. I know. <laughs> I gotta. It's an L, it, my my shit's an LLC now. I'm about to start Hell suing yeah. people. I'm like, yo, right? you don't freaking let me change my name. I'm gonna sue y'all. No, I'm just Facts, right. right? You give but, <laughs> <laughs> but no, you can catch me on Twitter. It's uh, it's that underscore dude underscore Scoob. Um, I'm also on Instagram, that dude Scoob underscore gaming. Mm -hmm. um, you can catch me on TikTok and uh, YouTube, just straight, that dude Scoob. Um, I am also, as I stated, I'm a personal trainer. Um, if you would like to reach out to me for anything, if you want to, if you want to, you know, a, an analyst or an analyst on your, you know, your body fat, or if you want a, workout plan or anything of the sort just feel mm -hmm. free to email me at bernard carter 1988 at gmail.com and i got you yeah. um we can get that popping but yeah um twitch also that dude scoob i stream monday thursday and friday from 10 a.m central standard to about uh 2 p.m central mm -hmm. standard time um right. so no that is that is me <laughs> hell yeah and all his information will be attached to this episode of the podcast so make sure to check out his content and as always if you don't already follow the podcast go ahead and hit that subscribe button uploaded and unfiltered we're on spotify apple music youtube amazon there's like 15 other places because you just click one button and it just seeds it out so look for me <laughs> uploaded and unfiltered it'll be there other than that scoop Thank you for doing this show with me. I appreciate it. I knew it was going to be a dope conversation, and I'm glad that we finally got to link up and do it. So I appreciate you for that. Yeah, man. Thank you for having me, man. I do appreciate it. I love your content, bro. Like, you know, you watch me. I watch you too, man. I've been, I'll be seeing you do your thing and stuff like that, man. Just, just kicking ass and taking names. And I appreciate yeah. who you are as a person, bro. Like, real talk. You know, a lot of people, you know, a lot of people don't understand, like, Twitter or Twitter, I'm sorry, Twitch, mm -hmm. as, as, as big as it is, it's still pretty small. You know right. what I'm saying? Depending on who the heck that you that you follow, you know, because it all just kind of goes out and about. But you know, we 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 genuine people got to stick together, man. Exactly. Especially when it comes to this uh, this stuff, and I do um, I do value you as a genuine person, dude. Just keep doing what you're doing, man, and uh, just know that I got your back. So Hell if you yeah. Need anything, man, just let me know, dude. Yo, thank you. You don't know how much that means to me, and I'm not like it's not me bullshitting. I appreciate that. Hearing that is good for the soul. So I'm gonna tuck. I'm actually gonna cut this out. The I'm gonna keep it in the podcast. But I'm gonna cut a little sliver for me. I'm just gonna play that shit every once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> no, for real. Uh, all right. Other than that, yo, I love y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in. I'm gonna go ahead and sign off for the evening. As always, protect your mental. Keep creating content, and I will see y'all in the next one. Peace. <laughs>